gun. Carter, are you surprised by how quickly that fight went? Come on, guys. Were you surprised he came out so aggressively? He, he came so aggressively. You know, he has his has style like this, you know. He's, he won his game. He won he, any fight, he do like this all the time. Did you enjoy that style? Yes, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I, I tell you, it, it, it was a really, it was a really fast fight. But at any point, did he trouble you in the ring? Did he hurt you? Bug you? Anything like that? Yeah, I think he he catch me here. I don't know how he can catch me, but I mean, my my coach tell me it's, it's an elbow, but I will see in the video, you know. It, it seems as though Anthony Yard could be next for you since B-Roll is contractually obligated to fight Canelo at some point. Um, did you see Anthony Yard's fight against Kovalev? And if you did, were you impressed by his performance? I don't know why. I don't, I'm, not seeing, I'm not seeing this fight. I don't know. Anthony Yard, uh, both, both you and Joe Smith slow. Uh, what are your thoughts on him saying that? Can I speak? He, uh, uh, Anthony Yard called, slow. called both you and Joe Smith, Smith uh, slow. And what Anthony Yard said he called you slow. What is your reaction to that? I'm slow? That's what Anthony Yard said. <laughs> okay. Okay. I understand. Would you like Bibble down the line? Yes. Because they talk, they talk always like they want to fight. They want to fight for next. Okay, let's do it. How do you think that fight plays out between you and Bibble? I don't know, it's like, but I mean, we have to, we need this fight, I think so. Arthur, we, we know that you have nothing but respect for Joe Smith, but you know, you did blow him out in two rounds. Um, did, you ex did you expect it to go that fast, or? No, I'm not expecting, like, for all my fights, I'm not focused on uh, knockout or something, you know. I do, I try to do, what we're working on like eight weeks, and I try to do in, in ring this, those things, you know. So was the game plan for you to kind of box moving backwards a little bit? Because that's kind of what it seemed like to me, sitting right side. You wanted to box a little bit, then hit him with some power shots when he came lunging in. Was that kind of the game plan? Yeah, of course. It's, it's the game plan, like, it's not just when we get ring. It's on eight weeks we're working on, you know. We was working on it. Another KO, uh, two quick rounds, you're establishing yourself as a boxer power puncher. Do you have any takeaways that that from, from this Joe Smith fight, even though it was really quick for you? Yeah, we will, we will uh, watch, 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 watch um, my team to this fight. I mean, we will check out something. One more, guys. Arthur, did you ever imagine starting your boxing career that you would become the unified having three of the four belts and, and the light heavyweight one step closer to undisputed? No, because when I was uh, starting to box, uh, I'm, my, my dream is to get Olympic uh, gold medal, you know. I'm a, about professional, I'm never uh, thinking about, you know. When I turn professional, I'm just just a little bit dreaming, you know. Yeah. Ajif Bill being here at Madison Square Garden, the Hula Theater, and the crowd sort of being uh, yeah, for very, Joe Smith Jr. Yeah, it's very nice to, to, to have fight here, like, you know, it's, it's historic place, like, you know, in New York. Mark, I appreciate it. Do you think better be able to get the, the respect that he probably deserves in terms of his boxing ability? To be honest, I think, I think he can speak the same way that I, I, I will tell you now. We don't looking for that. Like we work every day, the maximum that we can do, and we it's people that decide if they want to give him the, that respect or not. Like we we think we we're, we're doing a, a good job, not a too bad job right now, and uh, we just want to continue to have success. End of story. Uh, Andre, it's the same thing for you. I know you don't really care what, what other people think about you, but do you think people should, you know, give your boxing field more respect instead of just analyzing all of your knockouts? Not question for me. Ask them. Th thank you guys. Arthur, Arthur, thank you, uh, thank you guys. Your fight is obviously Canelo, but would you rather a Bivol fight over a Canelo fight, just for the undisputed title? Yes. Yes, I want. To fight. Okay, I just wanted to ask. Um, provided you get the win against B-Ball, become undisputed, would you move up to cruiserweight, or would you just stay at 75 and just? It's interesting. I need to think about after. Yeah.
what, are you <laughs> le- what, are you, what are you leaning towards? Cruiserweight, not cruiserweight leaning? First cruiserweight and after heavyweight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you see yourself moving up to heavyweight? Yeah, it's interesting to you know to have another belt. I, th- I hope my promoter will uh, organize for me that. Since you did fight Usyk in the amateur, does that kind of motivate you since he's now the heavyweight champion? Uh, yeah, he did, he did a good job, but I mean, we will, we're going to see. Thank you guys. Yes, Thank you guys. Finish the second round. Huh? For you, it's a surprise. You finish. They're gonna start the wrapping round. up, everybody. No. Thank you guys. The the, the, yeah, they have to wrap up. All right. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram.